So here are two varieties of Budlia, which I got from my friend's garden. There is this kind of yellowy one, and then there's this one that's a big magenta. And I, there was no real way of digging them up, so I took loads of cuttings. So I'm gonna try and do cuttings of these. And um, because it was a 20 minute drive, I've just dumped them into this water tank, rainwater tank, and to soak them up, you can see they're, they've kind of gone wilty. They're showing their upside down part of their leaves. So hopefully this will perk them up, give them a good soaking, and then I'll do cuttings of them, and hopefully several of them will take. At least that's the hope. So we have the long trays filled with water, and we've um, dumped them all into these troughs to give them a good soaking. These are being taken away by a friend of mine, my niece. She's taking this shrub and some of this stuff and some of this smoke bush and things like that. But yeah, that's, uh, and the ferns have already moved to their new location. There's all this stuff is happening now. Look at these magnificent ferns, all dug up from my friend's garden. And I needed a container because I want to grow them on for the weeds to uh, show themselves so I can keep weeding them out because I don't want to bring her weeds into my garden. And there's this interesting plant. It's a leaf that's kind of, in, these are the red flowers. There's so many of them. Anyway, I've got, lot, the ferns are gonna go in there and the, this is for these guys. So it's slowly but surely, see they'll grow on in there and then they'll, the weeds will come out, I'll weed them. No, you're not gonna use that as a litter tray, mustard, okay? That's where the ferns are going. So the fern mixture is, this is nice uh, compost. Then there's um, kind of a sand mixture. And then at the very bottom, there's a gravel mixture. And this old wheelbarrow, there's a holes in the bottom of it. And it's got a big flat tire. You can see the big flat. Oh, Inca, come on, get out of the way. You in the way. See, there's the flat tire. But um, so I'm gonna mix that up and put all those ferns in there and they'll grow on and they'll look beautiful in this section here. Well, it might look a little industrial with the wheelbarrow and everything. And then these guys, they kind of like shade as well. So they'll go in this. So yeah, no, these ferns are absolutely magnificent. I'm thrilled to bits with them. Anyway, that's the next stage of this lot. Now, I've got a system of cleaning all the roots so I don't take her weeds. So these lovely red ones are in this bucket soaking because they've been dug out. Then I rinse them, rinse them, and then I'll load them into this to go and be planted. I've got loads to do. I poured a um, bucket of water out that I've been cleaning with gardening. And Java's finding it very interesting as it flows along the drainage ditch. <laughs> He's like, what is this stuff? What is this stuff? As it trickles along. <laughs> You're so good. You're so good. You're so good. Well, I've been really busy um, cleaning up. I put a huge dent in the plants rescued. You can see that's almost empty. That's just about empty. These are mints. There's three different mints that I picked up and another plant that I don't know what it is, so we'll find out given time. And then this looked kind of interesting. I don't know what that is, but it has these big leaves. So this, I still have to rinse off the roots to plant. Haven't done that yet. Planted out loads of those, but over here, around the corner here. This is the ferns. I'm planting them all here because she had a lot of stuff that I don't want that were weeds. And so I'm not planting out um, things like these ferns 
And so I have them in that wheelbarrow. And they're in a perfect place because there's not a huge amount of um, light in here. It comes in the afternoon. But um, they can overwinter there. And um, this wheelbarrow is a really old one, has holes in it, so it's got drainage. And uh, I can pseudo roll it to another location. It's just right there for the moment for convenience. Now, I also, there was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight oak trees that I dug up and transplanted. I think there's about, I think there's two different kinds. I could be wrong. Like, I think this one is one kind and this is another kind. And this might be another one. I don't know. I'm not an oak expert, but there's at least two different kinds of oak trees in there. Here is some Mombrecia. Again, I've put it in a pot, so I'll see what it's like next year because there was no flowers. I discovered two uh, Agapanthus, this one and this one here. So I dug those up and uh, the puppy's already digging this one up. Dug those up and transplanted them. I'll see what they are like next year. So that's the beginnings of a lot of transplanting. A lot of stuff has already gone out. And um, I'm really, I love these ferns. So hopefully those will come true or come through rather, not true.